So for men and women, first of all, chest discomfort, chest pain, chest pressure, center of the chest, across the chest is the most common. But uh, for women, uh, you want to uh, talk about atypical type symptoms such as shortness of breath or weakness or activities you can't do all of a sudden or arm discomfort or abdominal discomfort or jaw or teeth discomfort. Most importantly, these might be brought on with exertion and relieved by rest uh, and can be reproducible. In other words, continually doing a, di an, a certain activity will bring on these symptoms. This is something to worry about. Well, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you see your doctor, get your blood pressure checked to make sure that's not elevated, your cholesterol, uh, what's called a hemoglobin A1C, checking for diabetes to make sure you don't have diabetes. Of course, knowing your family history and, uh, and don't smoke and keeping yourself at a normal body weight and uh, having good habits. Sodium is a tough one. I don't know how many times I've asked patients, do you eat salt? They say, I don't eat salt. So my, old, my next question is always, what'd you have for lunch yesterday? And I'm gonna tell you 99% of the patients fail that test. So um, there's salt hidden in almost everything you eat. So from deli meats to bread to cheeses, um, if you go out to eat, uh, the food is all salted and probably has a lot of fat in it um, to make it taste good so that you go back to that restaurant. So really, you know, the key is to by it's more expensive uh, in our country, ironically, it's a lot more expensive to eat healthy than it is to eat unhealthy, but buying natural foods, um, uh, organic foods if you can, and cooking yourself, eating uh, fresh fruits and vegetables, lean protein like fish, chicken, and some turkey uh, in normal quantities, watching your quantities as well. I've always told patients um, who are overweight, right away, cut your quantities by 50%. Eat more of your calories earlier in the day and don't eat late at night. So the best exercise I always tell people is the one you'll do. Uh, I, I'm always asked that question. The best exercise really is walking, good old fashioned walking. You just need some sneakers. In the winter here, I'm not saying you should go out when it's 20 degrees, but certainly when it's 50 degrees, a sweatshirt, a sweater, some sweatpants, and go walking in your neighborhood or go walking around the block. I would suggest 30 minutes of walking, maybe once or twice per day, maybe five times per week, would be a very good exercise. You can go inside malls and do that. I think the most important thing to remember that I don't, I don't like to use the word diet because it gives the connotation of restriction or taking things away or not being able to do things. I like to tell patients they have to develop a lifestyle that they can maintain uh, for many, many years, and, and then they can uh, be happy with their eating, their exercise, their weight, how their clothes fit, how they feel, and ultimately uh, their health, which is the most important thing to maintain, allows us to do what we do every day. Mm -hmm.